In this tutorial, I want to make transparent how to plan and implement a video system using IPS video analytics for AXIS ACAP cameras or encoders. In the flow diagram, we can see how to proceed. For planning systems with analytics in cameras or encoders, the highlighted items are of special interest. The first one, and at the same time the major task, is camera planning especially creating the camera layout. Keep in mind that sufficient lighting must be provided. Then we continue with the analytics planning. This is to find out which is the best suited analytics module for the application and to check if objects appear in the image with the right size to be detected. Here the basic properties of a camera are listed. Check if the required codecs are supported if the image resolution is sufficient, both for analytics and for display, and if the frame rate is high enough. When you estimate the light sensitivity, you should take into account that the maximum exposure time is 1 25th of a second. If using infrared illumination, be aware of the sensitivity of the camera chip in the wavelength range of the illuminator. For the lens selection, consider a sufficient field of view. Especially check if the lens quality matches the resolution of the camera. The more megapixels the camera has, the higher the lens quality must be. The mounting height of a camera should be at least 4 meters. The camera should be tilted downwards so that the image does not contain elements of the sky. This avoids the sun shining directly into the lens. Specify the field of view using camera planning templates. This way ensures that you always maintain the maximum detection range and avoid detection gaps due to blind spots. Camera planning templates should contain segments displaying the blind spot, the distance to the next mast and the maximum detection distance. You should have a template for each field of view you want to use. This figure illustrates the link between the maximum detection distance and the maximum detection range. The maximum detection distance is the distance between the camera and the target at the point where the height of the target is 7% of the image height and the width of the target is 2% of the image width. The maximum detection range is equal to the maximum detection distance minus the blind spot. The distance between the camera masts must be equal to the maximum detection range. These tables show some examples of the maximum detection range. For a 30 degrees field of view, for instance, the range is 48 meters. The minimum lighting should be 150 times the camera light sensitivity. If the camera light sensitivity is unknown, you may use 20 lux as a rule of thumb that is suitable for most of the cameras. Measure the light reflected back to the camera from the ground. The illuminator must be mounted at least 1.5 meters away from the camera. Avoid a mixture of visible light and infrared light in the same scene. From this table you can find the best suited analytics module for the specific application. As a general rule, check for gaps in the camera layout. If a person walks from camera to camera, he must be visible on one of the images at any time. In the initial example, we will plan fence monitoring. From the illustration, we see cameras located inside a fence. At the fence corner, camera C2 only covers a section parallel to the fence but does not cover the rectangular section. A camera looking in the opposite direction is required here. In this example, it is C4. In a further example, we see how to plan building monitoring. To eliminate blind regions, two cameras per facade are required. Cameras are directed away from the building. Alternatively, cameras may be offset from the building, mounted on masts.